Hey, what's up? My name is Lauren Ashley Beck, and we are here at the Condor premiere in Los Angeles. We're going to get to talk to some of the cast, the directors, executive producers. Can't wait. Thank you. Hey. I really appreciate that. Yours Hi, looks Rick. great as well. Ah, mine's nothing. <laughs> mine's nothing. It looks phenomenal. So much hairspray in this. Hey, I, but it's going to stay. If anyone lit a cigarette around me, we, we'd have a problem. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, when you read the script, yeah. what was your first reaction? My first reaction was the quality of the writing. I think often with, with things like this, you, you, you get the good guy and you get the bad guy and they face off over the course of 10 episodes and ultimately the good guy prevails and, and that's it. What I like about this is, like the political landscape we find ourselves in, it's very hard to discern who is acting on whose behalf whether it be for the pro profit motive or the military industrial complex or in fact a virtuous crusade to instill democracy in another country it, that's very much the case with this you don't know including joe including my character you don't know who's doing what why and i think that's intriguing also and tell me to shut up if i'm going on too much no i love it also what i like is it makes the audience ask a couple of questions uh, about how we live, the privileged existence we have here in America, in Britain, in Western Europe, in Canada. You know, little things we take for granted, like having gasoline in our cars or cell phones in our pockets. Whereas the truth is, when we have a cell phone, we sign away swathes of our civil liberties. Uh, gasoline, we are... We are part and parcel of wars in the Middle East that are arguably illegal. In, in, in terms of Condor, you're talking about national security. You know, what are you signing off on in order to guarantee your safety when you board an airplane? And I think it's, it's, it's good to be conscientious about these things. And I think Condor asks the audience to look at those questions, uh, which I think is good. Absolutely. It makes people pay attention to things that we need to pay attention to. I think so. I hope that answer wasn't really... No, it was phenomenal. You can cut the shit out of it. No, I love it. That was great. Thank you. We appreciate the longevity of your answer. So your dad is a phenomenal actor. Love him. He does. Just a little bit, right? So what's some pointers that he's given you throughout your acting career, or just in general? Pointers? I think... Uh, I think... You know, the first time I told him I wanted to be an actor, he was very, he was very keen to make sure that I had grown up. See, my mother's also an actress, and and she fortunately has been successful. So, I've grown up seeing two successful people. He was very keen to make me realize that statistically it's very hard to be successful and even if you are successful for a moment like this moment right now is a high point in my career but it may well be followed by a very low point uh, you know a low point emotionally financially whatever geographically being away from your family whoever knows and that that is part of it that is part of the journey um, and as long as you're happy with that and willing to go down that road then do it Wow. That's some really good advice. That's a great pointer. It's a good bit of advice. Thank you so much, Max. Can't wait to see the entire season. Congratulations. And we really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> Hi, everybody at Hollywood Junket. <laughs> hey. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah. I, I'm here. That's okay. Um, so what was your first reaction when you read the script? My first reaction was, ooh, I hope I get this job. And then I went in and uh, I watched the movie. My second reaction was to, to buy the movie Three Days of the Condor, which I thought was really good, except the love story in it, I was like, it feels like somebody at MGM or whatever the company was, was like, eh, we need a love story in there. With Robert Redford? Yeah, the Robert Redford love story. Um, Faye, Faye Dunaway, yeah. right? And... Um, <laughs> Although I like both of them, so I wasn't I wasn't complaining about it at all. And then I went and read with John Papsidera and then got the job and was like blown away excited to be a part of this group. Went to Toronto, read all ten episodes in one day. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's a, that's a lot. It was a marathon. It was a Herculean effort. But I sat there and I just peeled through because I wanted to understand the arc and I wanted to know like what my character was going to be. A true actor. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you pay a guy to do a job, he probably should. He probably. <laughs> you should, should probably try. You should probably do it. Just a little bit. Maybe not in one day. <laughs> that might have been the, the fun thing. But but yeah, I got it done, and um, and then getting on set and getting to work with William Hurt, 
who is an idol of mine, somebody that I've admired uh, professionally, like ever since I was a young lad in Reno, Nevada. And then even this guy, Max Irons, who became a buddy of mine, like just good, good people. Um, so it was, it was awesome. And then we shot in Toronto, so we were there from May until September. So I had my wife and kids fly up, and they got to live with us, me, until from like July until September. And we took little road trips to Niagara Falls and New York City and Washington D.C. And oh, I love it! It was a good gig. It's a family affair and a good gig. Yeah, it was a good gig. That's awesome. So you said that you and Max have become very friendly. We definitely see that relationship come across on screen. On screen. Yes. Yeah. It's very clear. It's a good. However, your character is a little. You know, he teeters that fine line. Can we talk about that? What does he believe is the question. Like, what does my character believe in? I would love to know. Yeah. Well, you're going to find out. Um, <laughs> you're going to find out. Uh, they have opposing... They want the same... It's, it's, the sa it's different means to an end. They want the same end, but he goes about it in a very optimistic, very idealistic way. And my guy was a tactician, or he, was a pra he, like, he puts things into practice, and he understands sort of one road which is you know I think you have to make it happen and so that's a very different you know very different perspective very different perspective absolutely so what do you think viewers are gonna take away from this I hope that I hope honestly I hope it opens up a lot of conversations about um, sort of our elected officials and, and our governments and like I hope it opens up conversations about storytelling. I think this is such a great story, and it's such a grown-up story, and it's a very complex... I mean, we're sitting here in Hollywood, and we're on a, we're on a black carpet, beautiful Wednesday night. L.A. living. L.A. living. I mean, this is Hollywood. <laughs> but the story that we told is a story about faith. You know, you have, you have these two different idealistic, fundamental, like, fundamental, you know, and they're in contrast, and they're at war with each other. Uh, you have governments that are sort of, we don't know who's telling the truth. I mean, there's a lot of grown-up stuff that's happening in this television show. And the way that the writers, Jason and Todd, they did such an amazing job of spinning this narrative and telling the story in such an intelligent and yet human entertaining way. It's great TV. Yes. So tell us about one of your favorite moments on set. I'll tell you one of my favorite moments. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, so I had a stunt guy for this scene I did where I pick up Max's character and I drive backwards and I'm about to get in and he's like, hey, make me look good. And I'm like, all right, all right. So then he gets in the car and he backs up into a wall. <laughs> the stunt driver? The stunt driver. And I say, hey, man, I, what happened to me? <laughs> Hello? Make me look good. <laughs> he tried, he tried. He tried. It was fun. Um, so there was that scene. Um, and then anytime I got a chance to work with Max, it was always great. Uh, we had a great, a, a great working relationship. And then the girl who played my wife, Matt, May, uh, Kristen and I had a like, wonderful time working with each other. It was just a fun story to tell. She seemed so fun. She's great. Down yeah. to earth and easy to work with. And yes. Yeah. yes, and your relationship also comes across on screen as well. Oh, good. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Yeah. Bye. Bye.